So this is so this is the load cell, and it will be held either side between these two grooves, and the weight of this blue sheave will sit in this centre section. And as the hose goes up and down, if the weight increases, it means we've either got the drill stuck on the way back up, or if the load decreases on the way down, it means that we're bouncing the drill off the ice and we need to slow down the payout of the hose going over the sheave wheel. Now we've got a very clever chap on site called Ed War, who's managed to um, design a bit of software that can take the load cell input straight into a computer and can actually do the electronics work for us inside a computer. So I'm just doing a bit of cabling now for Ed and he's sat inside working on the software. Uh, I'm Dr Ed War, and I'm in the workshop container at the Lake Ellsworth site in Antarctica. Uh, so I, I've reprogrammed this device uh, to measure this sensor directly uh, and then transmit the data onto us. The load cells are important for the drilling process because they're going to let us know if the hose is getting to the bottom of the hole as we're drilling it. Uh, because as it touches the bottom of the hole, the load on the hose would be reduced.